All right. Hold on a second. All right. Welcome. I'm DTs, and <clears throat> I decided to do a let's play. I'm gonna turn down my computer volume just a little bit here. Um, so I decided to play, uh, do a let's play, and I had some trouble deciding which game should be the let's play that I do. I wanted to do an older game because newer games don't have the same feel to me. And it was a cross between Legend of Zelda Link to the Past and Pokemon. So I decided to go with Pokemon somewhere in the middle. And I might do a Link to the Past later on. But I like those old retro games. So I'm going to be playing this on an emulator and it's... It's not the best ROM, but it's there. Um, it, it's pretty much exactly like everybody else's. Um, and I do actually own the game, so I don't feel so bad about using the ROM. Um, mine has been hacked. Um, the only thing that I hacked into it, because it is on an emulator and it's incredibly difficult to trade Pokemon on emulated games I have uh, hacked in a secret spot where you can catch Pokemon such as Kyogre and Latias and Lotad and all of them but anyways other than that it's the usual Pokemon game that we all know and love um, Ruby's not my favorite, but I decided I would do one that I didn't really care for, that was kind of in the middle. So I picked this one. So yeah. Um, as you can see, your mother's here. Uh, you can see the grass over on the left side of the screen. That's the secret spot that I added in. I'll show that to you after I get done with all this. I try not to overuse the fact that it's an emulator, like the speed speed boost I can do right there. But the internal clock doesn't work, so it really doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and set it for the time that it is, though. Just because I'm crazy like that. And, uh... Oh. Analog clocks are so slow. Anyways, I decided on Ruby just because I like Ruby and I'm too lazy to download Sapphire right now. Oh, where am I going? I need to go about right there. Sometimes the game just goes too slow. That's why I have to do that speed hack, but I'll, I'll try not to. Like the walking speed, that is so slow. <sighs> Alright. So, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this area. I don't know if the game will freeze, so give me a second. Uh, that's another thing I don't plan on doing, is a lot of safe states. Just because I don't plan, I don't careful them so much. Okay, this area works. It doesn't freeze out. Well, there's just nothing there. Okay. So we gotta go in here. Break into somebody's house. I always found that funny in RPGs where you just break into people's houses. I didn't even knock on their door. I just walked in. Ooh, a daughter same age as me. Hmm. If I wasn't engaged, this would be excellent. So, come up here and talk to her. Talking about Pokemon. Who are you? Some strange boy just broke into my room. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, Professor Birch is her dad, and he's been talking about me. That's not creepy at all. All right. So that was definitely intriguing. She has a GameCube. I want to play her GameCube. 
Okay, I'm bored of that already. Like a boss. So, Ruby's not that difficult, and it's not that different from Sapphire. But, uh, it's here. We come up here and we see a man getting chased down by a dog. Pokemon. Because he's a little weenie. If I was in the Pokemon world, I'd just kick the thing in the face, but that's just me. Um, I like Mudkips. But... It's always a toss-up between these two. I'm gonna go with Torchic. Just for the sake of argument. I'm gonna go ahead and throw Torchic out. Scratch this thing's face off. Yeah. Eat that. My little chicken can growl. Haha. <laughs> That doesn't make any sense to me at all, but whatever. It feels kind of quiet, though. I'm used to playing this game with, like, epic 8-bit music in the background. Nothing quite like the champion theme from Gold and Silver. Phew, I was in the child grass sitting. Well, there you go, you idiot. You should have had Pokemon on you, not over here on the ground. Ooh, teleportation. I like this guy already. Why didn't he teleport away from the Pugiana? <laughs> oh yes, that's thanks for rescuing me. I like to have the Pokemon you used earlier. Blah 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 blah. Do you want to give a nickname to it? Yes. I shall call him Blazer. Actually, I'm going to do I'm going to name every Pokemon I get after a friend of mine. And Torchic is a male. I'm gonna name him after my cousin who kicks total ass. Yeah, that'll work. Blazer can name Kyle total. Okay, yeah, blah blah blah. I'll go and talk to your daughter if that's what you really want, you creepy old man. Uh, Mom doesn't give me my boots until later, so I'm gonna speed hack this crap. Whee! Yeah, I said I wouldn't use the speed hack, but until you get the boots, you walk so slow, you kind of have to. Ooh, it's like good. I know you viewers don't want to sit here and watch nothing happen, so... Random encounters are always boring. Aha, take that, you oversized whatever you are. Okay, well, that wasn't interesting at all. And our first trainer, trainer battle against this little girl. She sends out the Mudkips, we send out the Kyle. Kyle's going to scratch this thing's face off. Because Kyle's BA like that, aren't you, Kyle? Yaha! <laughs> and I totally won that. Like a boss. And I learned focus energy. Like a boss. Hmm. So hopefully things get a little bit more exciting in the future. Right now they're just not... Uh, I mean, the beginning of any game is kind of boring. Most, I mean, not all games. Prince of Persia is pretty exciting from the start. I mean, the original. Not the original. The one for the PlayStation. I guess the original was, like, on the NES 40 years ago, but whatever. All right, so go and talk to the old man again. Talks about Pokedexes and the Pokeball. And I suppose that is about where we need to stop this first video. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I shall be coming out with the second one shortly. Goodbye.